What's wrong with you, lady? What did you take? Come here. Where her cup? Get your cup. Peace. Thank you, girl. You made them. Mama, I can't hold you and do this, okay? You're going to have to go. Sit down. Okay? Say hey to everybody. You want to say hey? time it is tonight, these kids. I'm by myself. <laughs> hey. 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 You're going to have to go over there and put it up over there, baby. Yeah. Sit down. I'm about to put her down. You gonna, no, no, and no. You're going to go over there and sit with, um, with your brother? <laughs> Are you gonna go over there? Say hey, honey. Say hey, Shandria. You can't wait. You gonna wait with the bottle? Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Yanni said hey, JCN. Hey. Mm -hmm. Look. <laughs> and Drill said hey too. Hey. Alright, I'm gonna have to get them down. You gonna have to go over there. Your sister gonna have to go over there. Go get us some trains and something. Huh? She wasn't watching it. Go get us some trains. You gonna go play with your brother trying? Come on, you get this toy. Because I love this toy. Ah. Okay, go over there and play. Go over there with it. Okay, go over there and play with your toy. No, you gotta get down, my mom. Go get your toy. She don't even wanna get down. Hey! Okay, yeah, she don't even wanna get down. You gotta get down. Okay, yeah. Go get brother trying. Go open the door. Go get some toys. Come on, let's go get toys. I'll be right back, y'all. Let me go get her sit down. She's trying to sit with me. Come on. Look, 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 look. Look, look, look. when daddy is not here. I swear they, they know when to act up. They were just cooling. As soon as I pushed this live button, it was over. Look, here she goes. Ma'am. You want some more chicken? Go put in trash. Because you're trying to spit it out. No, ma'am. Chandra, you better come get your uh, guy back. I'm going to be shipping over there soon. Go. Go over there with brother. Jace, I told you to go get her some train. Go get her some train. She don't want that little bitty train. Go get her some big train. She's trying to give her that little bitty train. She don't want that. 
He don't even want to share with the trains, honey. How y'all feeling tonight, though? I ain't gonna keep y'all too long, but I got a few things. Should they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you got, mama? You didn't get no time? Here, here. Okay, go play with Mama Necklace. She don't want nothing I'm giving her. <laughs> here. Go put it over there. Don't put it in your mouth. That's nasty. Go put it over there. On the table. Thank you. Woo! He's jarring! Really? I need a babysitter for nights like this, okay? It's her cup. She got ice in it, Tilt. Thank you again, Tilt, for the board. No, baby. You want your milk? You want your milk? Mama, I can't do this with you, and I don't want to smoke my cigarette right here. Go. Here, here. I gotta give a song, y'all. She gonna keep bugging the hell out of me. Hey, bro. Look, look, look. Yeah, you wanna call her? Go get her some color. Oh, okay. Well, let her do it. Whew, hopefully that works, y'all. Hopefully that'll work, honey. Woo! I think she's sleepy. She want me to rock her, but bad timing. And I need to smoke. And she tripping. Come on. All right. Okay. But it is what it is, right? Yep. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get started, y'all. She don't touch nothing. I'm trying to give you everything. You want to be in class today? Or we're on the live? Because it's not a class. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. Y'all ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. She want to go live, too. <laughs> um, we're Nipsey. Man, let me tell y'all something about Nipsey Hill. Boy, if you'll go over there, baby. go sit down. <sighs> y'all, never mind them. But anyway, <laughs> let me tell y'all about this. Okay, because I got to get down his, uh, the breakdown that I got from him. Um, I was trying to print out his picture earlier. <laughs> Say hey, Tim. You just got to smile. Okay. 
But I had tried to print out his picture earlier. And I was trying to print out a, a blue one with his picture on it. It had a blue background, background, and it had, you know, him in like a, a blue um, sequence. It was just, a, it, everything was blue on a picture. So I tried to print it, and I printed it three times, y'all. And this dude didn't want the picture, obviously. Okay, at the bottom is where I tried to print, where it was blue. So, I end up here, I end up having to find another picture to print. And behold, he says, behold, he let me print, I got one. Yes. And I guess he wanted the one that was in that he was in black and white. Um, so I end up having to print this one. Well. <laughs> he wouldn't let me get the one with the blue one. That was crazy. Now that that's the crazy part about it. I'm like, oh now, nope. Oh. Right, right. He didn't want that color, did he? Yep. <laughs> so. I end up print, printing this out, and there's a reason for it. Plus, I wanted a picture of him anyway. Uh-uh, both of y'all can't sit on my legs now. My knees ain't that good. Get down. Son, you weigh almost a buck. Okay? You in them 50-60 ranges, okay? Okay, sis. He would not let me print nothing. I got three pictures with just the blue at the bottom. I just ended up copying over this one. But at the bottom, it was supposed to be a blue picture. As you can see, he in blue. Got his necklace and stuff on. Would not let me print it. I did it three times. So I'm like, what picture do you want, honey? And obviously he wanted this one with the black and white on it. Um, it's a Puma outfit. <laughs> So I end up getting this one. This is the one he wanted printed. But the reason why I printed him out, you know, not for just my sake to have a picture of Nipsey, but it was some keys that we missed. <laughs> cool, bro. Now tell sis I said hey. Um, it was it was some keys on his face that we missed. Okay. Um, maybe I'm pretty sure everybody's seen it. Oh, I got him. I can't smoke. I can't do nothing with them right here. Get off of my leg. But he had some keys on his face. And it was two tattoos in particular. The one they always show of Nipsey. If you look up his picture, you always see those, that side. Okay, bro. Um, you always see that side of his face. Um, the one that say, um, what is this? Pro, pro, pro. Lithic, prolific, yeah. and um, God, I think they say God shall rise, or God will rise. I got to wrote down, though. But um, let's touch back a little bit on Nipsey oh now. God. Going back to the events around surrounding Nipsey transition, right? Mm -hmm. um, right after his death, COVID hit. Very convenient, ain't very convenient, right? Um, COVID hits, no. and... Which, like, it left a lot of people, as, you know, a lot of us, to tap into our creativity energy, okay? While we was, um, what is it? We had to be in the house, you know, curfews and basically homebound, as they would say, martial law. And that left us a good, a good, um, a lot of time to just, you know, to connect with ourselves. And to tap into creativity energy, which is, you know, within your higher self. Um, so, a lot of people who tapped into that energy, which was, you know, producing, them making, and they was harmonizing, and they was becoming one with themselves, not even, not even knowing. But, um, okay, get off my leg. She about to get down too. Get off my leg. You are one heavy little dude. Okay. You too, mama. You think too. Go get me your bottle. Go get your bottle. Go get your bottle. Go find her. Go get my room. Here. You want this cup? Where is it? It's not over there either. Make sure it's not behind that table right there. 
But um, that left a lot of people, you know, right after the his day of COVID hit. Get off of my legs, son. Yeah. No, don't do that. And this cable's not connected to the But um, like I was talking about before, um, you know, I had got to upload that blue. You know, it, it also symbolizes the um, symbolizes energy, the way energy looks. Um, boy, stop. Um, so I'm gonna write down. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna say what I got wrote down, so I can tap into this because the kids are kind of like they're not throwing me off, but they she is sleepy. And she wants these earrings in her ear, which is why she's been chasing me forever. So, but um, blue is the creation um, frequency. Yay! It's a creation frequency. Um, it also deals with your throat chakra too, as we all should know. If I put these in your ear, you gonna get down? Okay, 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 cool. Let's put these in your ear and see what you're going to do. Yay. I had these in her ear last week, y'all, and she did not want these off when I put them on. Yeah, yeah. Stay still. I ain't here. Whoa, baby, wait a minute. Let's sit right here. Whoa. Let me put these on her ear so she can get on over here and swing up her, her face. Honey. Oh, we got one, baby. Look, we got one. We got one. Yeah. Don't put that in my face, baby. Let's put the other one on. Wait a minute, I can't find this hole. Let's see. I'm going to need to get you some earrings because... Anything for the kids, honey, so they can sit down. Wait a minute, baby. Yeah. Can you just, you don't want to just wear that one? Because I can't see this. Just wear that one. You got one in your ear. Look, look, look. Ooh. Pretty. Get down. You're messing with my camera, baby. What camera? Right here. Get down. I'm Pretty. Peace, Oreo. Pretty. Yeah, okay, don't do that. You're going to pull your ear. Yeah, you're going to pull your ear. Okay, now go over there and look in the mirror. Oh, God. I thought if I put these in your ear, you get down. I can't find a hole, baby. I got to finish my live. I promise you it won't be long, okay? Your brother needs to get off that water over there. No okay, there we go. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty girl. Can I get down? Okay, you gonna go <laughs> look in the mirror? <laughs> go get, go get, put it down. Go get that from your brother. <laughs> go get it. Okay. <laughs> go get your shoe. Go get your shoe. Go get your shoe. Go get your shoe. So you brother, go get your shoe. Go get your bag. Give her a bag, Jay. Go get your bag. Go get your book bag. It's not working. Nothing's working. <laughs> that means she is straight up. You don't want your bag? You don't want to go? You don't want to go bye-bye? Okay. Anyway. But, um... Blue deals with your throat chakra also, and it, it symbolizes the vibrations of the frequency and the energy. So, as we, I think we talked about it before, girl, Till, you want something? You want something now? Let me give her something. Let me give her something. You want a snack? She likes to eat. <laughs> Wait a minute, sit right there. Let mama get it. No. Go over here and give your sister these. Ooh, look. Cheeto. 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 Okay. Go over there. You gotta go over there and eat them. I'm gonna leave them right here on the table, okay, baby? 
Now, go over there and sit down with your brother. Let me go over here, because I, I can't. I can't go that way. I got you over here. Let me go sit in the bed, y'all. Ooh, she'll sit down if she go. She don't want to leave. <laughs> Sit right there, eat your chips, mama. I got you some more right here, okay? Yes, yeah, she do. She do know she is. Okay. Right, sis. The short the throat chakra connected to the first eye. Also that projects our energy out. Right. I was trying to pick uh, print out a picture, but I cannot find a picture that I had that had it was showing um, how the throat is connected to your eyes and to your mind and stuff like that. I cannot find a damn picture for nothing because I was trying to print it out to show y'all. Um, and as we were saying before, dealing with the throat, um, right, bro, that's exactly what I was about to say. Which brings manifestations you can create, you know what I'm saying, by speaking into existence. Um, by seeing, um, and what else I said, and, um, by seeing and, you know, speaking into a vision or a thought or your inner voice, you know, all of these takes place within that, your crown chakra, uh-uh, your crown dealing with your energy of creativity and your throat chakra is connected to all of that. Remember, that's a portal. So it pushes out your energy, it projects your energy out, which is also going to create um your craft or your your manifestation um now also in our body you want another one what the other one damn girl i tried to give you some chicken you didn't want that here baby eat that one too here you go get your soul since the earrings i got something about her too yeah <laughs> hey, mama Thank you. So eat your chip. Go over there. So she'll go over there with you. They all feel they need to go. Go far away. <laughs> Do my thing. Okay, go over there. Go sit down. I didn't say nothing. I promise you. But, um, and like I was saying, energy is symbolized with the blue also. Um, one thing that I did, um, that I did get is, you know, um, when it's dealing with our blood veins and stuff like that, also, we have a red blood and a, um, a blue, well, a red vein and a blue vein. Um, and the blue vein, especially, it plays a, it plays a part um, into your manifestations, you know, how the blood flow and stuff like that. Um, it deals with your spectrum suit and your subconscious. Okay, thank you. That's why I told y'all to go in your room. Go, go play choo-choo. Choo-choo. Yeah, go show your sister how to fix up the train. <laughs> you look so cute. Yeah, baby. Pretty. And we just said that, which projects out our energy to create. Okay, so let's get past this. Oh, okay? I just want to throw that out there for y'all. Um. So this energy... Going back to Nipsey is the same thing as the marathon, okay? Your creations, um, your manifestations, um, this energy period because it will continue to go and go and go. It's, it's an endless marathon, okay? Um, and these creations will always take place limitless, okay? So let me get back to Nipsey because he's about to get on my... I ain't going to say you're getting on my nerves, but he making sure I say this, okay? So, on his, um... Did I write this down, honey? Why you got me over here? Okay, let's read, okay. Nipsey was also, um... My notes are, like, everywhere. He was also the blueprint to the marathon, okay? Um... Which continues in this journey, like I was saying, which is the creation. Um... For you to rise in your oneness, which is your, um, which is also balanced, which is probably the reason why he wanted me to have get him uh, this black and white outfit he got on, okay? Because even with the blue, you get balanced. 
Okay, so um, because creations come through that quarter as well. So speak your creations, your magic in and out and into your existence. Okay, I just said that. We just said that, Nipsey. The kids got me everywhere. Okay. Now this is some tea right here. Um, you might have knew, you might not know, but Nipsey aired out. You know, certain people that was around him that was negative. Okay. And when I mean aired out, I'm not talking about like some elite shit. Right, sis. Right, tip. Level up. I'm not talking about no elite shit like that, but he had some people that was also around him that, you know, in every in everybody's journey. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. In everyone's journey, you gonna have some people here, baby. Girl, bye. Oh, here are your cup. Come on, go to sleep. Come on, baby, go to sleep. I gotta scoop back. Mm -hmm. Um, he had some people around him, not just the elite people, but he had some people around him. JC Hunt! Okay. Go! Y'all please tell me why my kids get extra when they get in out here. I need to know that. But um he had some people around him for the third time that uh that was like they was negative energy okay and he had to end up cutting some of these people off like we all do in our journeys because not everybody is going to be around you when you get to a certain elevation elevation or you trying to you know succeed in your you know within your journey of success as they would call it because not everybody's going to be there when you make it when you where you're going like this okay here you go I gave you one. You threw it on the floor. Okay. Okay. Which is also a self-sacrifice because we all have to sacrifice something in our journey. Yes. Um, especially when it's pertaining to you elevating or leveling up. Okay. Yay. My volume low? Damn. Maybe if I come close. Let me get a little closer. Um, which also became, you know, he became a legend here. A lot of people found out about Nipsey after that. Um, now, I wrote this down. The prophylic on his, um, on his face. Let me go back. Wow. I don't wrote his name in my book three times. He made sure I say what I need to say with him. Stop. Um, I thought I wrote that down. Hello. But to be prophetic is a, it's a, it's a, Hello. I want to say it's a profile. Hello. Uh, self, self. Hello. Um, I wrote this down. I can't remember why and when. I swear they do the, I swear every time I'm trying to do something. Hello. And I try to have everything right here what I need it. Can you please get them off on over here? Hello. I'm trying to say hi. Y'all. They, to who? Okay, go to sleep. Just go to sleep. Mommy. Mommy? But the um he Mommy. has a prophylic on his Mommy. get off of my table. Mommy, your candle. Look. I know that. Can you please go over there? It ran out. Okay, that's fine. Can you please go over there? Thank you. <laughs> Which is a profile of yourself, okay? Um then he has the God shall ride, okay? So these are keys talking about the energy that's about to take place. Yes. Right, since yeah. they are very lit. Right, to profile image. 
So this is um, the energy that's about to take place. Which is why it was symbolized as the marathon because as we know, this okay, if you're gonna go over there, go. Can you please go find her bottle of something? Go look in my room in my bathroom. Go. Right, sis. Thank y'all for being so patient with me. Um, that means God shall rise is the same thing as self shall rise. Um, oneness shall rise because we know God is oneness as well. So this marathon is going to take place because energy is a marathon. It's going to keep going and it's going to keep going. And that's a part of creation. Bono. Thank you. Whew. She need to get off of it. It's a part of creation. So he wanted us to know let me get back. That this energy or this and or marathon will continue forever. Um, why are you doing this? I've told you to sit down. I don't care about these popcorns. I want y'all to go sit down somewhere. I already got the sister over here. I'm sweating bullets and everything. Go. Uh, he wanted y'all to know that this marathon is going to continue, okay? And you're going to rise. And regardless of where you at in your journey, you're going to always tap into your creativity energy, okay? And it doesn't matter what elevation you are on, you still will tap into it. And like I was saying, we self-sacrifice ourselves when... We're trying to do better, okay, in our life or in our journey, as we say in our spirit. So we have to self-sacrifice things, whether it's cutting people off, you know, just so you can gain your greatness or what's destined to you, or we would say our blessings. Right. It's a forever race, Tip. A forever race that's going to take place. So even after the whole his transition and COVID, what we've gotten out of the COVID situation is so many people have tapped into their creativity energy that a lot of people are starting to create their own job, okay? They're starting to have their own business, just like Nipsey did, okay? That was not only a push, but a force of energy that we all have in us that was about to take place. Okay? Now I'm going to get on to uh, Sister Soldier. Self marathon, right, sis? It's a forever self marathon. I'm trying to give you this so you can go over there. And go watch TV. Go watch TV. Get the cover and go watch TV. Every time I put you down, you start acting up. But when I when you slide down, okay. whatever, fat girl. I'm gonna get to uh, Sister Soldier um, because she had popped up in a live a few couple lives back, and then I was doing them, and she just kept saying Sister, but she had something to give to me, and it's crazy because Sis had typed in the comments what she wanted me to see which was the freedom of the mind um if you look at sister soldier's name it is cryptic within itself and it could be decoded within itself and when i broke it down of course we know we got the soul um but let me start it off with sister sister deals with the feminine energy Okay. Sister deals with the feminine energy, okay? And then she has her last, her, I ain't going to say it's her last name, but the last part of her name, a soldier. Okay? It's not soldier, 
soldier, nothing like that. It's spelled soja, okay? A lot of people do this in the industry, okay? They would create names that have symbolism behind it, okay? And she just happened to be one of these people. Um, as we know, the soul is the light, and even in correction with myself, that deals with the masculine energy. With the H on the end, tip, not soldier, like soldier boy. Die, guy, right. Um, we know the soul is the light, and we know light deals with masculine energy. So there you go, also, it's showing you right there, sister and soul is dealing with your light and your darkness, okay? Because we know feminine energy is darkness, okay? And then we have the jaw at the end, which is God, and God equals oneness. So there you go again with balance, okay? And when she was here, her purpose here was to free your mind, okay? And when I mean free your mind, it was on some higher perspective shit, okay? She didn't really get a lot of recognition either as the activist that she was, okay? I didn't even know she was a rapper until, what, a couple weeks ago? Since y'all? <laughs> I didn't even know she was a rapper until a couple weeks ago. But um, I knew that she was an activist for black people, okay? And she advocated a lot dealing with the black community. Um, but her purpose here was to free your mind. And when she means free your mind... It's freeing your mind from the matrix, okay? From your conditions of this matrix or within yourself or your demise, okay? Which play out in your cause and your effect, okay? Or your actions and consequences, okay? That was her purpose here. She didn't get a lot of recognition for that because she was speaking on some higher perspective energy and a lot of people wouldn't have grasp it then an author yeah she's an author too she has many books I think what is it the coldest winner is it winner the coldest winner I think that's one of her books but she also is an author um and her, her books definitely will take you to tap all the way in okay <laughs> just by reading a couple pages from what I read. Um, so she wanted me to give y'all that um, that breakdown of her name and what she, her purpose was and what she was trying to push, which is her energy is surrounding us now because a lot of this oneness energy, I tried to give you paper earlier, you didn't want it, here. your pen and write. Yeah. Now go right. Go sit over there and write. She got to put my book up. Okay. Yeah, that's one of the books too. She is this coldest winner ever. Okay, I knew it was something. She very sleeping. She gonna go to sleep right after I get done. Um, that's what she wanted me to let y'all know about her name. Because her purpose of what it what what she really was trying to push, which the energy is around, because of course we're in the ages of where we're in the time of us becoming one or being one with ourselves to be balanced in this new world that is in that's taking place. Okay. So a lot of these energies are going to be popping up because, especially when it's dealing with one, new. as you can see, Nipsey didn't want the picture in blue. He wanted it with his black and white outfit. Okay, it's cool, whatever. We got it. <laughs> okay. So, um, that's what she wanted me to give y'all. That, um, that breakdown. And she said, if y'all ever get a chance to look at her quote, she has some very powerful quotes that deals with our journey as well. Um, it's dealing with um, elevating your mind, meaning breaking free 
from the matrix of uh, the conditions of uh, what they would say white supremacy, okay? So um, she has some real deep poems. I was going to print one out, but obviously I didn't print it, okay? So when you have some time to check out some of her, her quotes, it's one in particular that's very powerful. Um, I would have wrote it down. Okay. I thought I wrote it down, the name of the poem, poem. But if you write down, if you just Google her quotes, you'll get the most powerful one. Of the blue Nipsey? Yeah. I go grab one right quick. Looking like a genie in the bottle with them earrings on. <laughs> See? And this is the top of his head. But soon as I printed that one, well, baby, go sit right there and draw. Here, you got a bigger paper. You just want to be extra tonight. And I just can't get with that right now. It's okay. You just ain't going to act right. Okay. Yeah, it's just the top of the picture. But as soon as I pick that picture, yeah, that one printed out with no problem. No problem. So, let me go to this next thing. No, baby. I think this is what it is, and I think this is about it. I didn't really have a lot this week, but I had some things to touch on, especially those two. Um, now, like I was saying, when you think of energy, what do you think of? Now, when we think of energy, we automatically think of electricity, right? <laughs> yeah, he. That, that's all I got was the top of the head. Until I printed that one out, I got a full picture. Um, when you think of energy, you think of electricity, right? Now, dealing with us, um, dealing with us with electricity, electricity, you know, it heats up. That's how we get electricity. At the crown. Exactly. <laughs> I only got the crowd of his head. Um, so when you think of electricity, right, you think of, uh, um, when you think of energy, you think of electricity. And to get electricity to, electricity to work, you have, it has to have a heated charge, okay, which is electrical charge, which deals with us also in our body, um, it means your energy is heating up. You about to get a spark. And, and nine out of ten, this is dealing with our kundalini energy, okay? Because when we get hot, like I'm hot right now, because she's, she's hot. Um, so my energy is rising. And when we, when our energy rises, we automatically tap into. We create a spark, and this spark can create tap into your creativity. You might tap into some energies you know, to get some uploads, stuff like that, okay? Oh, my God. Uh. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to leave that alone. I'm just leave that alone. we just going to go over here, and I'm just going to get this out the way and keep it moving because, honey, as y'all can see, I'm sweating. I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna come back to this because it's a. I got all this wrote down, but 
I can't break it down the way I want to because of course the kids are right here and they're gonna kind of distract me just a little bit. And when I'm trying to be really serious, I'm breaking that part down. So I'm just gonna throw this out right here on some of the things that I just got for uploads and I'm gonna keep it moving y'all because these children. <laughs> mm -mm. Mommy, mommy. I ain't gonna be able to do it. Mommy, all these bars? No, they're not hot, baby. Okay. It's so hot. Oh, I just felt the sting on my forehead. Okay. Let's talk about the story. So I'll go back to that Saturday because I got to be in my serious mode. Daddy got to be here. But let's talk about the story. When you think of the source, what do you think of? Right, y'all. <laughs> when you think of the source, what do you think of? Um, automatically, we will probably think of the light. Okay? Which we would say creation of creation itself. Um, I had got an upload about the source. And I don't know for sure if y'all heard or anything. Much love, bro. Right, sis. Right, a lot of people will say higher power. Dealing with the source. Okay, well, we're going to have to nip this in the butt. Because the source is the source of all creations, right? Which is the beginning of all creation. All right? Dealing with the light. But is the source the main creator? Is the question. Okay? The source is not the main creator. It's just the source of the light. Which is the source of the creation. Which is the source of us. Okay? It's not the beginning. Okay? It's not the beginning. And behind the source... As we know, it's just nothing but divine energy, okay? And if you look at divine energy, divine energy is nothing. It's, it's completely darkness, okay? Right. Looking at the source right now. Us. <laughs> so, and behind the source is nothing. But soon as they said, soon as JC said it, right, a lot of us or a lot of people thought Jim was losing his mind. What you mean it's nothing? What you mean it's nothing? It's nothing. It's not a speck of light. Nothing but complete darkness. Close your eyes. You'll see it. Ain't nothing but straight darkness. Then he'll say darkness. Yes, you did. Good job. You read that. You read that, boss. And nothingness is just dealing with the uh, just dark matter, which is is also which is the same thing as oneness. Okay. So when people, when we get, I'm just, I guess the reason why I got this, so we won't be, we'll know what, what is what, okay? Right, you have to find your light. We, we, so we can know what's what, it, what, what is what, okay? And what I mean by that, because a lot of us, and I even thought too that the source would be, you know, it, it, everything is the light. But I knew that behind light was nothing. But we still give the source the praise, okay? Yes, that's our creation, that's our magic, but that's not our beginning. Did you feel light? Right. Jim was right. Did you say Jim? Jim. Jim was 100% right. Because you go behind that light. And you get past light, there's nothing. 
See, creation takes place in the light. Creation is light. It's not the source. It's the source of light. You know, that's the source, as they would say, because light is source. You need a source for, of something to create a cause and effect. Okay? But behind all of that is nothing but complete darkness. And we know that's divine energy. Oneness. Everything comes from the darkness, as I've been saying for a long time, too. And we create, like I said, in the light, which is this luminous matrix of reality. Your reality. Your reflection. Everything. Okay? I don't know if y'all was on here Sunday or people seen the video. You do. <laughs> That's why she had it up too. Um, when I had um, got an upload about the Lovecraft, and see, Lovecraft was dealing with. See, that's even. See, that's what that's what I'm be saying. Like, they uh, see Hollywood. We we some smart motherfuckers. We know how to hide shit. I mean, cause a cult ain't nothing but hidden truth. Okay, so we know how to hide shit. So you, but you have to find it. That's the work you got to put in. Okay? And with that dark, um, not dark, but with Lovecraft, we know love is this and oneness. And oneness is in your darkness. That deals with your feminine energy. Okay? And the craft lives and is created in your light. That's light. So Lovecraft is the balance within you. Your love, your craft, your love, your creation, the beginning, the end, okay? And through your creations, you create magic, which is us, us beautiful beings. Your reality, the matrix, okay? That's the magic. And that's what Lovecraft was trying to get that's what Lovecraft was based on, you gaining your magic back, which is control over your your creations, your reality, okay? Your journey, your experience, your energy, so you can stay better, I mean, bad, I mean, better, better, balance in your love and your craft, which is your love and your light, or your dark and your light. Okay? Alright. Now, I remember one time I was saying that the chakra, I remember um, telling y'all that I had got an upload about the chakras being upside down. When I found the pictures, and, whoo, in this picture, they, they, they got it right. Y'all gonna start slipping on Google now. Y'all gonna start finding shit. <laughs> Tell the people they better stop slipping on Google, but uh, cause Google be having the tea, honey. But uh, I found the upside down <laughs> chakra. Um, you gonna hold it for me? Okay, you got to hold it like this. And the people got to see it. Hold it. Let me put it right here, cause I don't think you gonna hold it right. I mean, like you're not in the middle. Can you see? Okay. As y'all can see, of course, the root is at the top. And you have your light, the source, which we are dealing with healing already, okay? We in we in the age of healing. So that deals with heal, okay? That's so you can get connected back to your root. Okay? Let me see this, baby. Let me show this something on here. If you can see this. You have to be in your root to be connected. Okay? Now, I'm going to read this from the source up, okay? We have the source, which is your light, okay? That deals with healing, understanding, your reflections, 
right, sis, which is where God is. And then you go through your crown, which is you releasing everything that you need to heal from in your source. Because your source deals with your reality, which is your illusions, which is your conditions. Your demise is what you created in your life, okay? And you have to go to your crown to release them. Let it go, right? When you get to your eye, you begin to reveal shit about yourself that you ain't seen in a long time, okay? Or you have not connected to, or even saw your own, okay? And then when it gets to the throat, as we were just talking about, your throat transforms this energy from here, okay? Working up. Your throat transforms it, okay, into your heart, which your heart, our heart, that energy will hold some shit, okay? It will hold it. Even though you don't release it, you don't rebuild it, you don't transform it, your heart will hold it, okay? Then when you get to your... Um, it is a solar. This is your will, your acts. Okay? No, baby. Don't do that. This is your wills, your acts. Okay? We've been talking about cause and effects. This is what you're gonna do. Are you gonna, you gonna stay in your heart? Okay? <laughs> or are you gonna act upon this in a, in a higher perspective? Because we're trying to get back to our roots. This is reason, it's a bunch of reasons why a lot of things were taking place in my journey that I can connect with this. On a better frequency than when we've been getting the upside down shit. But, um, then you get to, okay, I just said your solar. Um, what is this? Your, your sacral, but it says sacrum here, which is, you, you starting to grow now. So once you get everything out your heart, because your heart tends to hold shit, you start to have that free will of act, okay? You start to get closer to your new creation, okay? You start to realize you can put boundaries on shit, okay? So it won't affect your growth when you're starting to get here, okay? I'm sorry. Because once you get to your root, once you get to your root, you start to connect. Okay, you start to connect to your foundation. You start to be able to recreate your your um your illusions, your journey. Well, not your journey, but your experience. You are in a higher elevation, higher learning, higher connection. You are truly connected to yourself because yourself lies in your root. Okay. It really don't lies in your light. Okay? I'm trying to get my paper. I'm going to post, I'll post this in the group too. It really, you really lie in your roots. Okay? You don't lie in the source. Okay? You take healing in the source. That's why, um... Sometimes some people might do a, a spiritual cleansing event or hold some type of event that deals with, get down, get down, get down, no, don't put that right there, that deals with cleansing. A lot of people tend to um, connect to the color white, okay? And with our clothes, <laughs> let me go and get this out here right quick. Yeah, baby. Oh. With our clothes, let me show you, I'm going to tell you how powerful energy is. I'm a testimony of that, okay? Let me tell you how powerful energy is. Because even down to your clothes, energy exists, okay? Your colors, what you wear, is connecting to yourself. It's connecting to your energy. And sometimes you might not even realize it, Okay? The colors that you got on is determining what your energy is right now at that moment. Or what you projecting out. Okay? 
That's how powerful energy is. Now, Sunday we had did this, the Bible, the coded session. I'm looking in the camera. I didn't even realize because I was thinking, like, damn, what are we going to wear the day before? I was like, damn, I think we, maybe we should all wear white. I don't know. Let, let me try to figure out. But I never got to that point to tell sis them, let's wear this, let's wear that. You know? Because sometimes I like to coordinate with shit. But um, I got there. we doing our live, and this is in the middle of it. I realized we had on red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. She had on red, which is representing your foundation. Um, Leon had on blue, which is representing your throat chakra. I had on white, <laughs> which is representing your light, okay? And in these three sources, as I said before, are portals within yourself, okay? Everything projects out of these three portals. Whether it's in your foundations, your throat, or your vision. Okay? So, I want, I'm going to wanted to say that. But no, sir. I wanted to say that, but our clothes, what you wear, um, definitely connects to your energy. Just pay attention to yourself one day and realize the shit you put on. I knew to wear blue today. I did it for Nipsey, but I know that also deals with my throat. And a lot of times when I wear blue, I'm, my throat is damn near lit, okay? Damn near lit. This is about every damn time I wear blue, I'm lit, okay? Stop, man. Stop. Put it back over there, please. I need to No, I'm about to get, I'm about to, we about to get, get it done. Okay. Okay. I'll post that in the group, though, for everybody, like I said, so y'all can look at it. Um, I got this breakdown of the tic-tac-toe game. I'm going to be having all type of shit broke down and deals with our journey. Well, I know it. I feel it. I see it. But I have an upload for the tic-tac, I mean, tic-tac-toe game. And I'm just going to break this down. Um, go ahead, baby. See, you should have got her the dang on train earlier. Over there on the table. You play them trains on her. You know she like to play the train. But, um, the circle, the circle in, um, in the tic-tac-toe game is, is symbolism for the circle of life, okay? Uh, oneness, okay. Also dealing with your your dark, okay, your dark energy, because we know oneness takes place in dark darkness. Um, and the X, we know X is a symbolism of ten. It's also a symbolism of new beginnings. Um, also a reflection of oneness as well. But it deals with your life. Okay? And when you get three in a row, leveled, connected, um, however you get it, when you get three in a row, it means that, it, that you are leveled, you are connected. Okay? And this is also representation of the Trinity, which is your oneness. Because the only way you can win the game is by having three in a row. Okay? That childlike energy be coming through and be giving me breakdowns of the games I don't play. Honey, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have every damn game just about broke down in a little bit. In a little bit. But I just wanted to touch these bases on y'all. I'm sorry about my kids. Then look. Go see it. Represents the crossroads. The X also. Yes! You know what? You, he is right because if you look at look playing on the trains, if you look at a train station um, that has a crossroads, it's an X. So that definitely deals with your crossroads too. And if I'm not mistaken, 
the first one to go in the rules, it says that the X is the first one to make a move. In the rules of tic-tac-toe. Okay. So, I want to give um, honor to Nipsey for coming through for this um, information, this confirmation of what's taking place. That's exactly what his energy was projecting out before we got into COVID. Um, I want to give honor also to Sister Soldier for coming through, you know, with the decoding of her name, which is also representation of the oneness. Because this oneness energy is around whether you want it or not. And... What is it that I'm hearing Lauren say something? What what is it, Lauren? What is her, her quote? How you going What is it? I need to hit it a little bit clearer. How you gonna win if you ain't right with them? Same thing as being oneness with yourself. Same thing with being one is with yourself. So, I guess the whole message and the whole reason for this live family is to continue to be one with yourself because when you in one with yourself, you in control of your marathon, your reality, and you create your own. You know, we gonna keep saying this shit for the rest of the year, I guess, because energy wants you to tap into that creativity because it wants you to elevate into your higher self so you can be in your new world. Because once this shit right here start to crumble, all you gonna have is yourself. Thanks, sis. All you gonna have is yourself. And yeah. So that's about what I got, y'all. Make sure I, ain't, I didn't have nothing in this book. Cause I feel like this dude over here looking at me from the side of his eye, and I ain't got time today. I ain't got time. Oh, see, I was about to forget. It is bipolar too. It was supposed to be Monday, but it's Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you for looking at me sideways, honey, because you were looking like, hold up, girl, you still got some more. Okay. <laughs> um, bipolar effect. I'm pretty sure this is one of the easiest breakdowns, but I'm going to break it down for people, um, for all of us, okay? Um, Yanni, you was dead on when you broke it down, sis. You had it. Right, sis. We ain't working for nobody else. Work for yourself. You had it on point, Yanni, when you broke down the bipolar symbolism. Okay. That means you... Yeah, sis. You probably already don't look that up, but you was like me, honey. Now, let me find... Let me find that. Okay? But, uh... As you know, if you break down bipolar, bi is simply two, okay? Also occurring twice in everyone and in every two. So every other thing, okay? Okay? And polar is actually, you know, like they try to be funny with these words, okay? <laughs> they try to be funny with these words. But if you look up polar, you're going to get the pole, um, north and south. Now, if you reflect on the inside of you and everything that takes place within you because everything is inside of you, right? You know that these two poles that they're talking about, where they be trying to, be, you know, they be trying to label people as bipolar. Hell, we all bipolar. We all bipolar. So I'm just got a little bit, you know, they don't have it under control, it's me. But we all have issues dealing with our energy, okay? And I'm going to show, I'm going to tell you how. Um, the polar deals with the north and the south poles, if you look it up. But you know within yourself, that's dealing with your kundalini energy, your high and your low, okay? That's dealing with your high and your low, um, your, within your celestial body, okay? Which they also call a celestial Pole, okay? 
and you be you can have electric is um have an electrical or magnetic polar polarity or it's the opposite okay so it can go from high to low at any time that means you could be happy one minute and a motherfucker might pull out in front of you the next and you gonna be madder than a motherfucker and might want to chase the motherfucker down and be like oh okay because remember our energy is always in motion that's your emotion it's always in motion and that's what you be trying, that's what you need, that's what we um, try to keep balanced. Because remember, energy is trying to gain oneness. That's working with the ego, okay? And if you're not balanced, then a lot of these infiltrating thoughts you might create, okay? Right, Yanni. Right, sis. High and low sales, ups and downs. Right. And... Have all the things. But anyway, yeah. You you can dealing with, you know, our emotions, that's dealing with your energy and emotions. So you know it can go high or low. But the key to this is just being balanced, okay? Because when you're balanced, you're more focused, you're more able to concentrate at the test hand, okay? You're able to reflect on yourself and know what you need to do, okay? Right, sis, balance, okay? So this bipolar shit that they be trying to label people with, the only reason why they label certain people with this this term is because they feel like you don't have balance within your energy, and you don't know how to balance your energy. So you might, these energies going to be coming through from highs and lows, and they don't know, and you can't control it. Almost if it's a person that's just schizophrenic, okay? And they, they dealing with uh, multiple energies coming through speaking okay so they will label you if you don't have it under control or your parents don't know what to do they will take you to one of these people and they will give you some damn pills that was supposed to control you to be balanced they were supposed to mellow you out right but see these things can be harmful because they can create demises too suicide okay Self-doubt. A lot of these pills that they give for people for depression or anything like that is only going to infiltrate fucking thoughts. It's going to keep you in the loop in your mind. That ain't healing. That's suppressing. Okay? So we all bipolar in the motherfucker. Okay? I'm gonna go through a little story, but I ain't gonna I ain't gonna go too long in the story. Okay? But over the weekend I had a chance to deal with my bipolar energy, okay? Which is the effect of my emotions out of whack. Okay? Side effects. Right, sis. Them side effects be a motherfucker. Okay? Which that's what bipolar is to your emotions. It's just a side effect because you ain't, you know, you got to balance these. These two poles. Okay. Right. You don't need them. You don't need them damn pills. Speak to somebody. Talk to self. Get it out. Because it's only going to suppress you. I used to be on depression medicine, so I know. And that shit didn't, I didn't like. Um. Oh, I was about to tell you about my story. Let me tell you about my little story a little bit. Then I'm going to finish this up. Now, I had my little chance to deal with my little bipolar pit this week, as we all do. Right. You have the you have the power to, to cure yourself. Because it's, it's only dealing with your energy within you. It's dealing with everything that exists within you. Okay. That's exactly, that's exactly how they do, sis. And it damn sure will make you feel numb. Just like those, uh, pills that they give kids when they acting out at school, they say. But see what it is, they energy be so lit. And them damn teachers can't deal with our children because they don't know what the fuck to do with people, with these super beings. So they'll rather give them some, um, some Ritalin 
to sit their ass down to be a zombie. Nah. Mm -mm. Cause I don't know why Lakeisha can act like this at school, but Lakeisha be at home be good. It's a damn person that can't deal with the children's energy. And they be quick to label your damn kids too. Just so they can make their job a little easier. But, uh, um, I ain't the one in there, no, just some tea. <laughs> but I went through my own little bipolar effect this, this weekend, okay? And I, I'm going to tell y'all this just like this. Us women, we some crazy motherfuckers. Y'all should already know women crazy as hell. You get a woman mad, I swear to God, you don't know what she going to do. But I didn't have control over myself. I didn't do nothing stupid. But honey, I had myself outside looking retarded as hell. I had them took me a two-hour stroll because I felt like the energy in my house was just, it was off. And me and my husband was, you know how sometimes some people tell you some stuff and you just you don't know how to take it. Um, and shit, I didn't know how to receive what he was telling me, even though it was the truth what he was saying. But um, it kind of just threw me off, made me mad because I didn't take it the way I needed to take it. Okay, so as women, you know, we crazy as fuck sometimes. We just jump off the handles. Okay, and I just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for a while. You know, fuck all this. I don't even want to be in here because the energy is just not right. Which it was my energy that wasn't right. It didn't have nothing to do with the goddamn household. But um, so I'm sitting there walking around my neighborhood for like two hours. And you know women, you know us women, we be wanting our men to come find us and shit. Where you at, call you? I see I had left my phone here so he couldn't call my ass. So he ain't have no choice but to come look for me if he wanted to find me or see where I was at, okay? So, <laughs> he, I, I'm walking and I'm walking like a motherfucker. And in the midst of me walking my higher self, Nipsey comes through and Nipsey little ass, just make sure you don't forget about me on the lie. I'm like, I don't want to hear that shit. Because at this moment, I'm mad at the motherfucker. Off the chain. I'm steaming. Okay? I don't want to hear shit. I don't want to talk to nobody. Okay? Uh, <laughs> he said that. Okay, my inner self, the child like I am, you know what I'm saying, Tansy, was like, yo, you go down this hill, you ain't going to make it back up like that. I'm like, girl, shut the hell up. I ain't trying to hear that. I'm still walking, y'all. Still walking. Walking like a motherfucker. I'm, I'm an angry motherfucker walking. Okay? And the more I walk, I'm walking. And I'm like, damn, this nigga ain't came trying to find out where I'm at. Somebody could have took me. <laughs> I could have been hit. Because <laughs> I'm walking on like a highway. And I'm like, this motherfucker ain't came look for me. So I'm still walking. So I get to top, get to the top of the hill <laughs> while I was at the end of the street, right? So I turned, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to turn the fuck around. See, that's that bipolar shit. I'm just going to turn around. See, now I don't walk. Stop doing her like that. Don't do that. Stop. She got them chips in her mouth. And still got them damn blue earrings on, girl. Okay. Um... But I'm walking, and I get to uh, the end of the road, because I wasn't going to walk no farther. Because I was planning on saying I was going to walk to my mama's house. That's a damn lie. Because I got to thinking about all the dark shit I got to walk through with these damn dark, dark woods. See, I'm not scared of the dark, but he got there. I ain't got time for no fucking deals. I ain't got time for no, uh, no raccoons. None of them. Stomp. I ain't got time for none of that shit in the wildlife when I'm walking in the dark. Okay? <laughs> so I turned my little angry ass around. Okay? I ain't gonna walk over there. You might as well turn your ass around. Because myself was already telling me, take your ass home, go smoke a blunt, and go to bed. The fuck is wrong with you? Okay? So I'm walking. I'm still walking. I'm turn around. I'm walking back. I'm like, damn. I got to go up this hill that my... My higher self telling me, well, my inner self telling me, the child liking me, is telling me that I ain't going to make it up this goddamn hill. 
because I'm my knees ain't made up like they used to be. Okay, so <laughs> I'm, I'm taking my time walking up the hill. I'm like, okay, let me take my time. If I just take my time and don't walk too fast, I'll be able to breathe. Okay, <laughs> I'll be able to I'll be able to have my breath when I get up this goddamn hill. Okay, so I'm walking slowly going up the hill. I still like, damn, you still like, okay. The fuck is, okay, he really mad. Hell, I guess I'll be mad too. Now I'm talking to myself, I'm coming down. I'm getting balanced. I'm starting to realize, girl, you showing your ass. Because you know us women, we can show our fucking ass. Okay? Men be like, you fucking crazy. You lost your mind. Yeah. A damn show had lost my damn mind. Okay? So as soon as I get up the hill, y'all, over the hill, put it down, son. Put it down, put it down, put it down. Put it down. Here, mama. Put it down. Here, baby. Here, here's your cup. Go get my, um, go get my phone. Go get my phone over there. Yeah, go get my phone. But, um, yeah, my phone over there. Yeah, my phone over there. Go get my phone over there, sister. <laughs> Hell yeah, that, that hill was kicking my ass. But I was moving like 10 miles an hour. <laughs> what they call it? I was speed walking. I was slow walking then. See, I was speed walking going down that motherfucker. Boy, I had done made it through that little uh, highway in no time. But I knew coming back was going to be some shit. But it was a much needed walk for me. Because my energy wasn't in balanced motion. I was in my ego. So I wasn't even, I was I was tapping out of side of the, the oneness. Because, okay, now I'm mad. For no damn reason, really. Mad at my damn self because he's telling me the truth. Okay? So when I get up the damn what hill... The Okay. What the fuck? Uh-uh. Oh, God. No, ma'am, you can't have it. So, um, here, baby. So, um, I get up there, and I'm like, damn, he still ain't coming. But as soon as I get up top of the hill, I see him coming. I, my crazy ass lips start to... Try to make farmer smile, okay? I'm pretty sure y'all all done did this shit. Trying to be mad, but you still got the smile percolating because energy like, yeah, go on ahead because you know this nigga, he going to come and find you. What the hell wrong with you? Okay? Here, baby. But, um, <laughs> so yeah, I get over the hill and I see him coming, y'all. And I'm like, well, damn. I'm trying not to smile. He looking at me, shaking his damn head like this motherfucker, right? This motherfucker, right? <laughs> so I get in the car. At first, I was trying to keep walking. You know how we is, Felicia. We keep walking like we ain't even see the goddamn car. Okay? I'm still walking. I don't see you, nigga. <laughs> you know so. He ended up backing up like he was backing up, so I bought the damn smile, okay? And I get in the car, and I'm just sitting there. He was like, I know you need a cigarette. You don't need all this motherfucking walking for nothing. <laughs> I'm like, I just need to get out of the house, but y'all, you was making me mad, which I was making myself mad, okay? Nobody can make you mad. Only you can make you mad, okay? So, it was like, I know you need a cigarette. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I do, I do, I do. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I got in, sis. I got in the damn car because I wasn't, he didn't do nothing wrong to me. I was the one in the motherfucking wrong. But you know, sometimes, you know, us feminine, us females, we, we don't be wanting to hear all that shit. You know what I mean? We don't be wanting to hear all of that. But we go to the store, we get the cigarettes, you know. And I come back home, and I'm, I mean, you know, I'm calm at this stage. And me and him had a little conversation. You know, I was able to 
articulate my feelings now without me being all fucking cray cray like, okay? And tapping into the ego, which is not being balanced, but unbalanced, okay? Girl, I don't even know what you did with that. Yeah, yeah. Just down. You can't open it anyway. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, you don't get in that car. But um, so I get home and I cried. I cried. I couldn't even cry on the walk. That was the crazy shit. I tried. I could not cry at all on that motherfucking walk. But when I got home and after me and him, you know, kind of talked and I sat in the, I went in the bathroom and I just cried. I just cried. Of course, I had to release. I had to get rid of that energy. I had to get rid of those fucking infiltrating thoughts. I had to get rid of anything that didn't mean me no purpose because it was only creating a demise in my mind where I'm making this, which is making me fucking upset for no reason, you know? So in the mix of me coming down and crying it out, smoking my blunts, I end up getting a download, okay? And... That was the bipolar effect. And my sis was showing me, Chris, she was like, you see how we just jump off the hinges like that? She was like, that's really what a bipolar effect is. Because you automatically have two poles, okay? And they're supposed to be automatically balanced, okay? Which is also the same thing as your ego. Tap it into the ego. Um, your ego being unbalanced, okay? So that's the same thing. The bipolar effect is the same thing as you being unbalanced with your ego. No. Okay? So I got in and I was like, damn. So we all fucking bipolar because we all have our days. And we all act the fuck out. Sometimes on Mondays, some people I've heard, okay, don't want to be woke up early mornings especially. Um, Monday mornings is a headache. Um, you know? We all be in our fucking energy don't be right. Okay? Um, I know bro was talking about um, people with A ADHD. Um, I tapped in that a little bit. And I really didn't have to tap in that too much because I got an article. Where, uh, um, yeah, I read an article also, which was very hard to find. But... Um, it was just confirmation of what I was already getting, what I had already tapped into. But, um, and of course, when I tap into something, I be wanting to see if I can find it, like I said, for y'all. Or even just for myself, for, you know, reassurance of, okay, okay. That's what it is. But ADHD, because a lot of them will try to uh, label your children as that too. Um, that deals with anxiety. They try to say it don't deal with anxiety, but it deals with anxiety. And this takes place in your roots. Okay, in your foundation. That means, or even coming into the experience, because some people are not um, the slightest noise, or certain noises can kind of trigger an anxiety within them. And that's all right. But it, it, it deals with your energy. And it's the same thing almost as the bipolar effect. Your energy is just, you know, it's just a little thrown off. But they call it ADHD because you are not balancing your energy. You're, you're moving all the time, you know, as they would say for children in school. You're moving all the time. You're not focused. Okay? Certain things you know, irritate them. Same thing with autistic children. Ain't nothing wrong with them kids. They smart as shit. Okay? It's just certain vibrations here in the experience they can connect to. Pieces, they cannot connect to it. So certain things do trigger um do trigger their energy. Right, it's, 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 it's triggered by fear, right. And this article that I had found that I don't even, I mean, I saved it, so I can share that too. Um, that was like finding a fucking needle in a haystack because everything that they was pulling up, 
they was trying to dismiss it as it doesn't connect with anxiety. It does. We all have anxiety too. Some people just know how to deal with this a little bit more. Exactly, Yanni. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. Right. Them teachers be born to hell. You know, Chuck, it's a reason why the kid's mind is, is got a short attention span. Because they always are in creativity. They're always into the divine energy. This shit don't, it really don't matter to them. This shit don't really matter to them when they in school. That shit really don't matter to them. And if it ain't feeding them, they, they damn sure not paying attention. They gonna do something. They gonna tap into their imagination. Because the shit born. But then they want to label your kids because they ain't paying attention to their motherfucking ass. Okay. Okay. That's why you cannot allow these stupid ass teachers. If your children are in public, don't, don't, don't try to. See, they tried this shit with my son. Um, don't let them label your children. They tried to do that shit with my son because his speech is a little, it's not delayed. It's just because certain words he can't pronounce, like his S's or his L's. So they was trying to say articulate. I'm like, okay, yeah, but what are you really trying to say? I said, because I don't go with that label shit, and y'all ain't finna label my son to fit your agenda for a school, okay? To, to deal with him or put him in a certain class. Nah. Because last time I heard articulate or any type of any type of being that's in their articulation of or they they craft or your magic or your light, you know what I'm saying, are highly intelligent. Just because he can't say word, certain words, my son can read at a second, third grade level. Um, he knows his mouth. Okay, he can count. He's doing more than what most kids do, or they did in K-4 and K-5, okay? And they thought they was going to be able to label mine, but they didn't. Right, they are geniuses. Geniuses ain't got time for this shit. They like to create. That's imagination. Right, that's why you should educate your own children. And I, I don't hold nothing against that. Right, educate your own children. Even if they are in children in school, still educate them. We correct what they be learning. Okay? Because remember, we're in a we're in the matrix. We're in the experience. Okay, we created this shit. So they have to know the matrix and they have to know um the truth. Dealing with the beginning of shit. So I always tell anybody that's got kids, if your kids are in school. Please still correct them. If that's, you know, because most people don't have the option to to homeschool their children. But still correct them. Because, hell, my nieces, I still correct them on their history that they get in school. No, that's not what it is. It's a lie. And the teacher can't even be able to tell you that it's not a lie because the teacher don't even know. Because they on a certain curriculum. Okay? Also, um, I don't know why the hell I put my book over here. I meant to put that one over here. So, ADHD is dealing with anxiety, something based off of fear that, you know, that was triggered in your beginning of your foundations as a kid, as they would say, because it starts when you're a child. So, if you read up on it, they will tell you it starts as it happens most likely to people and when there are children. So, that means something took place that is a trigger of your energy. And sometimes people with ADHD, like I said, they can't stay still. That's a trigger. Um, what is the um, thing that they call a tick? That's almost like a tick. You constantly moving, you're constantly doing something because that is something that is triggered, that has triggered you somewhere in the past that you do that to release stress or some type of um, with a stress. Okay. They don't know a damn thing. Don't know shit. Now, if you look up the polar um, in Latin, it definitely say, um, in Latin it would mean end of the axis. 
Uh, mid medieval Latin means heavenly. Means heavenly. <laughs> It means heavenly. So, once again, this is dealing with your your um, kundalini energy. Just keeping it balanced. A lot of these things is dealing with your energy just being balanced. And a lot of these doctors and PHs and teachers, they just label shit because that'll also take you, also, uh, that'll also give you a disconnection from yourself. Truly knowing what's taking place within yourself and finding out what the truth is. So, it was another one other than ADHD. Oh, we said all this. Okay. All right. I think that was, yeah, that was it. But so, just remember, everybody. You all bipolar? We all got some anxiety. Okay, we still do. I know I do. We all do. Whether it shows in different ways, they sure do. They sure do. They love them fucking labels. See, that label makes them money because they also get them pharmaceuticals some money too, which also get them a goddamn, um, what baby? Which also gets them a bonus <laughs> for signing you a prescription. So. Um, here are some things uh, you can do um, to balance your energy. Everybody should know. Speak it out. Let it go. Recognize. Meditate. Music. Um, crying. Taking a bath. Anything that's supposed to gain you balance is going to be cleansing to your soul. Okay? And we just said, and another thing, self-expression. Self-expression will keep you balanced. I ain't meaning like being fucking shady, okay? <laughs> okay? I ain't meaning by being shady to be self-expression now. I mean, self-express yourself. Express yourself. <laughs> that just came in my mind. But, uh, yeah. Get it out. And I, my door is always open for those who, who need somebody to vent to. Also, because yeah, I be needing people to vent to, too. I got my sisters and I got y'all. Um, so, self-expression will keep all of this down. Not self-medicate. Um, not they medicate. Okay? Self-expression is the main, that's the medicine. Okay. And if you have family or friends around you that's suppressing this this label, you gotta let them go. Cause they don't keep you in that in that loop of being insane. You gonna think you crazy. You gonna think this is wrong with you. I can't remember how many times I've been labeled with something in my life. And I ain't never had nothing happen that the doctors have. Like, I've had my doctor try to diagnose me with diabetes because my damn sugar was high one day. Self knew why my damn sugar was high because I was sitting around here eating goddamn eight goddamn eight to ten fucking rainbow cakes in a day after I don't smoke this smoke. No, baby. So I had to take like, ooh, pick that up and put it over there. I had to take Self-control. I had to gain that. Okay? So I could stop eating goddamn Miss Debbie. Because Miss Debbie was goddamn, she was, she was bringing it up there. But it didn't mean I was a diabetic. It just mean my sugar was high. I had too much sugar in my blood. That means you need to cleanse that out with some damn water. And mine out of ten, if your sugar high, water will cleanse that out. So, she tried to diagnose me with that, but she gave me a grace period, which was 10 days, to see if my sugar level would drop. 10 days, y'all. Symbolism and that shit, too. Because to see if my sugar level would drop. 
And if my sugar level wouldn't have dropped, of course that would have gave them the the red flag or the flag or the play to give me some fucking medicine, okay? So I knew what I needed to do for self. And self needed to get off them goddamn cake. Okay, no cake for the rest of the week. Get off of me, son. Your leg is heavy. You are heavy on my leg. Okay, she she ain't nothing but a buck. Not even a buck. She half a buck. But, um, so when I went back to the doctor, because I didn't eat no more dairy cakes for 10 days. I didn't eat a lot of sugar for 10 days. So when I went back, everything was negative. Nothing wrong. And that doctor still be trying to suppress that shit in my memory, but no, baby, it's not going to work. Or well, in my subconscious. It's not going to work. You know, it's not going to work. So, you got to have self-control, and that's going to gain your balance also. So, don't allow these motherfuckers to label you, because remember, everything deals with energy. And if they can label you off of some, some made-up shit, not even really some made-up shit, but some subliminal shit that really is telling you what it really is. Get down. Um... It'll definitely help you, but if these family members that's trying to suppress it and shit, stay away from them. They don't know no better. Ow! And energy, overall, is bipolar than a motherfucker. So, you can't win and lose with that. You just gotta be balanced. And you gotta be balanced when you make um, your decisions, too. Your choices. Or you gonna be in your bipolar bipolar effect. <laughs> so that's what I wanted to um tell y'all. We all some crazy motherfuckers. So next time motherfuckers tell you crazy. Like, okay, thank you. You crazy too, motherfucker. Cause we all some crazy motherfuckers around here. Remember, we all childlike. And kids, as you can see, they crazy. Not in no fucked up way. In a careless way, mean they don't have no care in the world. Okay? And I'm about to get out of here. Um, and I'm going to say this. I'm going to get out of here. I'm about to say this, but I'm going to get out of here. Please get down, son. Um, what shall pass? Gosh, what shall pass shall come in abundance. And when I mean abundance, that means a higher elevation. That is not money. Okay. I'm going to pop you. So I'm bye bye. So, what shall pass shall come in abundance, y'all. And that's not money. That's your soul. That's your oneness. That's higher elevation. That's balance. And I think that's all we have to say after I don't yell the, over the children today. This has been very fun, hasn't it? Yeah. Wow. You gonna say bye? Look, look, she, tell her, I'm hot, bro. I'm hot. <laughs> you gonna tell them bye-bye? Bye. And bye. Say bye. Bye. All right, family. I'm going to get up out of here and get a control. Uh, I ain't going to be able to control them, but I'm going to get them set some kind of way. And I will see y'all this week still. I have another live this week. So I'll see y'all this weekend. Bye. Um, so what we say? One, uh, love. Can everybody say love? Love. Peace. Peace. And oneness. Oneness. <laughs> Bye. Bye, y'all. Love y'all.